Before I can glue the fins onto the body tube uh, that we made in the last step, um, I need to airfoil them and to seal them so that they're nice and smooth. Um, go ahead and remove the uh, fins from the laser cut sheet by running your hobby knife around the perimeter, cutting those little tabs. Now, um, you'll notice that the edge has been beveled so that it will span across the, uh, onto the transition. Um, so don't sand that uh, root edge um, until the very end. Um, and it, you don't really need to stack sand them because the laser is very precise. So basically we're just going to start and airfoil them. And I have some medium grit sandpaper. And the technique that I do is, this is going to be this flat bottom edge is, is the trailing edge. This is going to be the leading edge. So this one we're going to round, and this one we're going to sand to a knife edge, kind of like a teardrop shape. Um, so I hold my fingers underneath the fin like that, so I'm supporting as much surface area as possible. Um, and then the, uh, the sanding block I have at a very slight angle so that I can, um, so I'm not sanding flat across the whole thing, I'm just kind of at the back edge working towards the front. And then flip it over, keep doing both sides, you know, flip back and forth so that you have a nice uniform edge. And always check along the back um, to see if you're not cutting into the wood evenly across. Okay, when you get pretty close, stop and then just go ahead and do round that front edge. You can see this or not, but I've got a nice knife edge right there. It goes pretty quick. It's very thin wood. Uh, now I'm switched to some fine grit. This is 220 grit. And now I'm going to smooth the whole surface. That's nice and smooth. Very careful doing that back, that root edge. Okay, I'm going to sand these later. I want to go ahead and show you how I seal them. Um, there, there's a couple of different ways, um, and I've showed you how to seal fins using the balsa wood filler. Um, and that's a really good method when you're working with kids. Um, if you're in a hurry, you can seal these with um, some thin CA glue, super glue. Um, gets a little bit messier. Um, always wear safety glasses when you do this because this can splatter. And then have uh, paper towels handy real quick to m wipe up any spills. Um, and you want to do this outdoors. And I'm in an enclosed room right now um, because the fumes are going to irritate your eyes and make you want to tear up. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the surface of the wood with the thin CA glue and then I'm going to wipe it off really quick and I want to do the, the trailing edge first, the thin edge. So I want to do one side, just maybe like a, a centimeter wide strip, flip it over and do the other side. Because when this cures, it kind of shrinks. So as it, it's going to kind of want to curl this up. So I want to do this really quick before that has time to, to cure. 
All right, so, and of course my tip is clogged. <laughs> so let me go ahead and unclog that and I'll be right back. All right. Okay, got my glue ready. See as I'm painting it on. Just along there and then wipe that off as quick as you can. And then do the other side. The back edge is the one you worry about because that's the one that's going to curl up on you. All right, just like that. Um, so now I can paint the rest of it. And I'm going to do it in kind of like quarters, quarter at a time. And then finally, this piece right there. And don't forget that leading edge. Okay, I'm going to give that like five minutes to cure up and I can go ahead and do the other ones and then uh, we'll sand them. Um, and the final sanding will just make them smooth.